I told you how the markets go up in the face of this, uh, which is weird, uh, but it, it's, again, a show of our resilience. And, and, and this is weird, too. Oil slipping when you could argue at, at a minimum the world got to be a scarier place over the last week. So you would think a knee-jerk reaction would be to go to gold or to go to oil. Not so. Oil slip sliding away in and out of $40 a barrel and energy to stocks tumbling. In fact, since all this began, I, I, I'm talking about the Paris attacks, they have careened. So it's just another anomaly that doesn't follow the consensus stream of thought that this is automatically what happens when something bad happens. And doesn't the former Verizon Wireless CEO, Denny Striegel, know it? But Denny is far more interested in this other issue that's come up in the middle of all of this terror attention. And that is going after companies like Verizon Wireless, like Snapchat, like Facebook, like Twitter, and, and putting the onus on them to cough up records, to be more willing to work with the government. It's a delicate line, isn't it, Delic? It, I mean, how do you handle it, it? Well, first of all, Neil, it's a very delicate line because of the rules and the laws that we have in place on privacy. So, I mean, if those rules were to change, there could be much more done. But if you take a look at, at cell phone companies um, and the requirements that exist today, there's nothing that goes to law enforcement unless there is a court order to make sure that it's the right thing to do. So telephone companies... But, but, but a, it would have to be a court order, right? It, if you were running Verizon Wireless today, and we had a situation akin to what we had in Boston a couple of years back with the Cernia brothers, where all those records, 120 million Americans' phone records were, were turned over, uh, it, that was a heightened sense of emergency, right? But the, the, now that, it's a court order that, that makes that happen. Neil, in any situation, no records can leave a telephone company without a court order. It, it just can't happen. Now, if you look at the case of, of the What if of the, the Attorney Boston General Obama, calls up our Homeland Security and says, I have time for a court order. This is urgent. We've no, got... sir. Negative. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Interesting. To, to do otherwise is a violation of the law. And those companies. So the times of wasting that. argument doesn't matter to you. I mean, no, no. no. Time, time, times of wasting doesn't matter. Now, Perhaps those rules should change. I, you know, that's something that we should debate. But the fact of the matter is that today, phone companies, companies like Facebook, are really strung up in these rules. And if you look at the Boston bomber, um, what happened in that case was Verizon, uh, for one, when that happened, they looked at the event and they tried to anticipate what would law enforcement require here. They gather that information as quickly as they can, but they can't put it anywhere. They can't give it to the government until they have a court order to do that. Um, I, I get all my information on international conspiracy theories from James Bond movies. <laughs> okay. And in even the latest one, which is very good, I highly recommend it, particularly for the heroine, but I digress. He doesn't check with anybody. The government just does what it you know, wants to do, or this, these spy agencies do what they want to do. And I, in, in, in all seriousness, I think that's the way it goes. The but, politicians come and go, judges come and go, but these secret agencies do what they want to do. That you would even not be aware of it. They're spying on the phone records. The, or the, isn't fiction great? Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> prove me wrong. I, I, no, I, I, I can't. I can't prove you wrong. But the but then the fact of the matter movie, is, I that, think that's all you need then, to know. Then, case then, no, if if you look at what the government should be focused on today, from from my point of view, these companies that provide encryption services, encryption devices, they should be under fire from our government to give the government the code that they can they can break this, these services. And, I mean, that, that to me is a big issue. What's happening today... Well, that's, in, a, in that's the, essentially in, giving them a code to all their customers' stuff. No, it, it can be you. Where, where would the government be required to use it, in my opinion? It is uh, on terrorists. I, look, it's not taking... The, you don't think the government has the ability the to just sort of... Like, Danny won't know. We'll, we'll just go in. Look, we, we have privacy rules. Because that's how it is in all the bond and, movies. And, yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming that not only do companies follow the rules, but I'm, I'm hoping that the government does also. I don't you, assume you know, that with the government. Okay. All right. Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm on the other side of this equation. Well, uh, you have to watch Spectre. May, I can't maybe, help may, maybe, maybe naively so. Right. But in, in this environment, we are, we are in a completely new environment today. I, I don't remember ever in my lifetime seeing the threat that we have today around the world.
Yeah. And if, from my perspective, we're, we're leaderless in this country. We ought to be, we ought to be banning with our allies to, to actually kill off as quickly as we can this ISIS organization and everything they stand for. We don't do that. And we ought to use any resource that is available to do it. So perhaps the rules should change relative to, you know, how the CIA, how the FBI, how law enforcement agencies get data. I'd be very supportive of that in, mm. in this particular instance. We well, ought to ban no it every instance, way we Danny can. Danny Striegel would stand and say, you don't have a court order, we're not talking. As of today, okay. we, there's no court order, no information. Understood. Danny, good seeing you. Watch Spectre. I can only help you with these issues through... Hollywood, but again, whatever you want to do. <laughs> good to see Danny you. Danny Striegel. It does make you think, though, doesn't he? He's very good at this.